Hey, Hydem here from geekblogging.com. Everybody knows that hackers are after you. They want your personal informations. They want control of your devices. They want your money. They want just about anything they can get their hands on. Majority of time, a hacker is going to be able to silently watch everything that you are doing inside your computer system. And this is unlike those ransomware where you pop up and it scares you. And you know for sure you've already hacked, but instead we will be looking at signs or indicators that your computer is under monitoring by a hacker. Now what I want you to do is go to the bottom left side, right click on the start menu, and go ahead and type CMD. This would go and bring us into command prompt, hit enter and then type in. Netstat to see all the existing connection that you have with other computers outside of your PC. Alright, so in this case we have the following. We are interested in the foreign. We are interested in the foreign addresses. So we should be concerned about the established connections. We have several connections for HTTPC. Alright, so that is normal. But if you see something like this in the photo with a port, then this is the hacker who's connecting and remotely controlling and monitoring everything that we are doing inside a computer system. So in order to check, I will take this address IP for example, copy it and go to IP locator. Once I hit the search button, it shows me the IP location as well as the ISP, which is in my case is Microsoft from France. In your case, if you get other results, then you should know that you may be hacked. The next thing you want to check for is do a right click at the bottom of your taskbar and click under Task Manager. So once you click under it, you want to look out for Windows PowerShell that is running. And if you are just using a normal computer, you should not be seeing Windows PowerShell. Right here and here is an image of how it does. Look like as well as there is another process that should not be here and is named the Windows Defender notification icon as the picture here shows. So now you may want to end the process in order to cut the hacker's connection to your PC temporarily. So the next way to check is to look at a Windows firewall and see if it is has already been turned on. Let's go to the bottom left corner and type in the firewall. Click on the Windows firewall control panel. So once you clicked on it, you can see the following over here with the private networks, and we have the guest or public networks in all of it. It is turned on. So that's a great news that the firewall is running. We can actually look in the advanced option and see what kind of applications are allowed to communicate to Windows Firewall. So over here we can see there is both private and public informations. We can see all the application they are allowed to actually transact with your operating system. So the firewall is doing the correct job and you make sure that there is no funny software that is being allowed to transact within your Windows Firewall. So this is a really a key thing especially in terms of protecting your computer. The last item that you really want to check for is your Windows security or any antivirus system that you are running. So over here we can see that we have a Windows security and we click on it. We can see there is a real-time protection is being turned on and because of that we prevent from the hacker knowing what we are doing. And you will try to disable a lot of the security mechanisms within your operating system that will actually disable all those security features and make you highly vulnerable to further attack and persistence across your operating system or your laptop or your desktop or even your mobile devices. So you should activate this right away by seeing this green checks. You can go to virus and threat protection and check this option for periodical scans, as well as you can check other categories and their features. Next portion of this video, we're going to use a free and open source tool called SysInternals. Now, SysInternals is something that does. It gets into the internals and you, you do have to be a bit careful with it. But as long as you are just looking and not changing settings, you should be fine. Now, there are a few of these tools that are really useful, but I'm just going to download the whole suite because it's small and free. So that's straightforward. So here we go. Now, of course, I've already got it extracted, so we can just go through this now. The tools that are the most useful. This one is absolutely key. It lets you see what runs when the computer starts up. If you're infected, there is virtually no way for this not to be catching something. The other tools that you may want to look at are Process Explorer. And of course, if you're an analyst, you may also want to look at Process Monitor but that's only going to help you once you know what the problem. Now, I always like to elevate this so that we can see a bit more information. We can go through, and of course, everything here, as I haven't installed anything bad yet, 
is all legit. You can see our user mode applications and our system services. Now one trick some applications will use is either running themselves as a service, which will still show the name of the exe, or creating a fake service host or services exe. The way you can tell is by the process tree. Service host.exe should always be running under services exe. This which is always running under win in it. A scheduled task that runs a fake one will not run under here, so that can be another way of telling. Another red flag would be nested service hosts if it was running as a service. I've never seen that happen under normal windows. You can also, you can look at these processes and get an idea of what's normal, but given windows does get updates, so you can't know for sure. So that's this one. Now let's also go and look at auto run. Now just like the other one, you can get more information by elevating, meaning running as administrator. Now there is one annoying bug with this program I just have to point out, and that is that a few legitimate Microsoft things do show up as not verified. Those are these drivers, and intermittently, although it seems to have fixed itself since I ran updates, I also saw Defender not showing up as verified, which would not be good, otherwise we can get a good idea. And note how everything we have installed here is verified to be a trusted publisher. Now in a second we're going to run a malware sample to show how that can change. So some other signs. Random mouse movements. If your webcam light randomly turns on and off. If your RAM gets especially high, you feel your computer lagging sometimes for no reason. Command prompt windows popping up. PowerShell windows popping up. If your wallpaper is changed, sometimes it gets changed to the default Windows thing. Sometimes it gets changed just like a black screen. That's a big red flag. Also just finding random folders and files that look suspicious. All those things you want to take note of. But yeah, that is it for today's video. So then the question is, what should we do if your computer is hacked? Well, the best way. Out is to take out your entire hard disk drive, like seriously format it or throw it away or install a brand new hard disk because you have no idea what act or kind of remits are left, remaining inside the computer as a result of a cyber attack. So the other best way is to always prevent hackers from getting access into your computer, and that is by updating your computer regularly and always running antivirus scanning inside your computer as well as your mobile devices. Anyway, that's it for today. Click the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and share this video with your friends. Peace out.